Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a habit tracking spreadsheet that helps you track the habits that you want to adopt to help you reach your goals. This sheet will help you track anything from going to the gym, drinking enough water, or reading every day, and at the same time will help you reach your long-term goals. Data shows that people are more accountable and have more success in achieving their goals when they track their habits. Tracking also makes doing your habits kind of like a game so that you can see the progress you commit as you go. And with that out of the way, let's get into making the spreadsheet. So first in column B, we're gonna track the habits. We're just gonna write the word habit as the header. And we have all the habits underneath. I'll do habit number one, habit number two, and drag down to fit however many you need. For the sake of this video, we'll do 20 habits. And, and 20 is a lot. Don't feel like you need to track 20 different things at the same time. That's probably way too many. Four or five is a good place to start, but this is just going to fill up the whole screen. And this sheet is going to track a month of habits. So in row three, we're going to write numbers one through 31 to track every day of a month. But we're going to need to add more columns. So we'll just go over to the end of this sheet, highlight a bunch of rows, and insert more columns. Then we can write the numbers one and two. Highlight those and drag all the way across until we get to the number 31. I'm not exactly sure where that's going to put us at. We'll stop here. Oh, perfect. 31. And to fit everything in our screen as well, we're going to highlight all of those columns from column AG back to day number one. And that's column C. We're going to right click and then resize the columns all to size 38. Hit enter. And then we also want to delete some extra space in column A, so we can resize that to 25, hit enter. And now all 31 days in the month fit in the screen. The sizing might be different depending on your screen size. And then another thing I like to do so that you can visualize the days better is write down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, depending on the month, this might have to be different. And then we can copy this across to all the days in this sheet and then get rid of the excess at the end here. And then to finish setting this thing up, we're going to scroll back here and I want to highlight all of everything that's within our actual tracking data here. Go to borders and select all borders. I'll do the same thing for the habits to the left. Borders, select all borders. And then the way you're actually going to track everything to see if you accomplish your habit for the day. So we're going to highlight all of these blank cells within the borders and then go to insert and select checkbox. Now, if on the first day of the month, I complete my given habit, I can check it off here and do the same thing throughout the whole sheet. For a little more formatting, I want to select this right here to select the entire sheet and I'm going to horizontally align everything to the center. And while we have everything selected, I'm also going to change the font. Right now it's default. I like Montserrat, so I'll change it to Montserrat. And as for the headings, I want to highlight everything from habit all the way to day 31. Make these bold. And then for the fill color, I like to use this blue right here. After that, I can change the text color to white. And then finally, for all the days of the week up here, I'm going to highlight them, make them bold as well, and make them a darker blue with a white font as well. And then for one more piece of formatting, I want to highlight the entire range of checkboxes. And something I like to see, it helps me visualize it, and like I mentioned earlier, helps the gamification of this. I want to make every cell that's checked off into a green color. So to do this, I first highlight the range like we just did. Then I go to Format, click Conditional Formatting, and then I format the cell if the text is exactly, and I'm gonna type in the word true, T-R-U-E. Every cell with a checkbox that is checked off formats as the word true. If it's unchecked, it formats as the word false. And then for the color, I wanna select the paint bucket here, and I'm gonna choose this second lightest green. I can hit done, X out of this, and now any checkbox I click off will become a green color like the first one is. Now real quick, I'm gonna randomly check off a bunch of these for the sake of the next part of the video. Just like that, we have an entirely populated set of habits that have been checked off or not. 
I also deleted two rows of the habits so that we can fit the part that's going to go underneath a little bit better. And in this part, I'm going to make it so that you can see the percentage of all your habits that you've completed on a given day. And we're going to start in cell C23 to see the percentage of habits done on Monday the 1st. To do that, I'm just going to start typing the equation by writing equals and then count if. I'm then going to open my parentheses and highlight this entire range of checkboxes. So we are going to count these checkboxes if, write a comma, and then in quotations, again, write the word true, and your quotations. And now I'm going to hit enter. So this is tracking that 11 of these habits are checked off, 11 of them are completed for the day, but like I said, we want a percentage. So we're gonna go back into this equation, this function, and add a slash to do divided by, and now I'm gonna write count A, which just counts the amount of cells that are in a data set. And then I'm gonna open my parentheses and highlight every one of our habits that we have off to the left here and hit enter. If I click back on this cell, and format it as percentage and decrease the decimal places a few points, we can see that 61% of our habits are completed on Monday. And the reason we use count A in the denominator is because it counts all the cells under habit that are populated. So say we're only tracking five habits at a time, we can highlight all the data under five habits, highlight all of it, including the checkboxes, hit delete, and now you see 60% of our habits are done, three out of five. This way the denominator knows that it's not dividing everything by 18, it's dividing it by the five habits that we are tracking. But I'll hit undo for now. And one last thing I wanna to add to this function is the ability to drag it all the way across. So to do this, we need to add it dollar signs in front of the B and B4 and the B and B21, hit enter. So that means when we drag this function across, the numbers will be accurate for each column it's under. And another thing you can do in the row right underneath this, you don't have to do it, but we're gonna resize this row to 84 to make it a very tall row. Hit enter. And what we're gonna do in here is create a little uh, bar that tracks the percentage accordingly. So this bar is gonna fill up 61% of the cell to show us our progress in another visual manner. So again, I'll get right into the function. We're gonna type in equals sparkline open our parentheses and select the cell C23 right above it. We'll add a comma. And then for this type of function, we're gonna to need to add a squiggly bracket. In quotations, we're gonna write chart type, end our quotations and add a comma. Then in quotations again, the chart type we're using is column. So we type in column with quotations around it. And for the next part of the spark line, we're gonna need a semicolon. For this part in quotations, we write Y min end quotations, comma, and then just write zero, and then percent, another semicolon, then in quotations, we write Y max, quotations, another comma, 100%, end it with another squiggly bracket, and hit enter, and now you see a bar displaying 61% of the tasks completed. And if you wanna change the color of the bar, you can't do that by filling the cell. If you fill it red, for example, it's gonna fill everything around it. So we'll undo, go back into our function right here. And then after the 100% and before that squiggly bracket, we'll add one more semicolon. Then in quotations, we're gonna type the word color, end quotations, comma, and then in quotations, this is where you write the color that you want the bar to be. And we're just gonna write green with our end quotations and hit enter. Now you have a green progress bar to track the amount of tasks completed. And all I need to do here is select that cell and drag it all the way across. And now you have an accurate bar for the percentage of tasks completed on each day. And then to end the formatting here and make it look good, we're gonna highlight everything, select all borders, and then for row 23, we'll highlight across, make it this second lightest green, highlight the bars all the way across, and fill it as this lightest green. And if you wanted, you could end the spreadsheet there, but we also wanna track the percentage of habits done in the month off to the right. So to fit this in the screen, we're going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to take these two columns, AH and AI, and resize them to size 38, the same size as all the columns to the left of it. So to get right into it, we're going to select cell AI4 and type in equals count if again. And then in our parentheses, we're going to highlight 
everything, all the check boxes in row four. Add a comma, and then in quotations, write the word true again. We can hit enter. And then you can see that 22 times habit one was completed in this month. But like we did before, we want the percentage. So we're gonna click on this again, go back into the formula and hit divided by, and then we'll write count uh, again. And this time we're gonna highlight from day number one to day number 31 in row four, or row three rather, and hit enter. We'll select back on this cell, format as a percentage, and decrease the two decimal points to see that 71% of the time habit one was completed in this month. Going back into this function, we're gonna add a dollar sign before the three in C3, before the three in AG3 hit enter and now you can drag this all the way down and the percentages are properly displayed for each habit and finally in cell aj4 we're going to create the bar chart that displays this percentage and this one's actually different than the one below so pay attention because it will make a difference and if you try to do it the same way you did this one it's not going to work so here we'll type in equals spark line again open our parentheses and select cell a14 add a comma, and then open our squiggly bracket once again. In quotations, write chart type, and quotations, a comma, and then in quotations again, write bar, B-A-R. Before we did column, this time you have to do bar. And then a semicolon, and then in quotations, max, and quotations. Last time we did Y max, this time it's just max. And then a comma and write 100%. Finally, you can do a semicolon, and then in quotations, write color, one and quotations last time we wrote color this time we have to write color one and then a comma and we can type in our color in quotations green and then finally add our squiggly bracket and hit enter and now you have your progress bar that displays 71 percent of the tasks completed and once you have this you can drag everything all the way down and using the formatting we used before, we can highlight this whole range, add borders, all borders, highlight the percentages and make them this second lightest green, highlight the bars and make them the lightest green, and now you're done. And now that you have this, you can kind of add stuff or take stuff away and make it your own spreadsheet. Uh, play around with it and make it the best spreadsheet you can make it and I'm gonna put a link to this template in the description and maybe pin a top comment too so if you click on that link you're just gonna have to make a copy for yourself and then you can edit that and do whatever you want with it and I highly recommend using something like this I've been using a habit tracker recently and it's really helped me get better at trying to reach my goals so I really think it'll boost your productivity too and if you like this video, please leave a like and comment if you have any suggestions or questions. And as always, thanks for watching.